I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We just do All that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she going, she reflect you. She walk around and knock me down just to kiss you. No. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. I know, I know the streets is talking. The internet streets, the tweet streets, the tweeters in the streeters are talking about a lot of things. More so than other swamps. Battle that just went down this weekend versus New Jersey twerk. Um, you know, a lot of people are giving New Jersey twerk flat, and rightfully so. This is a battle that he called out. You called this man out, not the other way around. Remember that. You called him out, saying that you didn't think he was that good. He didn't deserve the clout that he was getting. That and that he wasn't. He just overall was not a good MC. He was overrated, and just anything that you could say condescending about an individual and all. Swamp did was show up not once, not twice, but thrice. Thrice. That's a three. Thrice. Thrice times to three different locations to see you. And when he saw you, he had all that smoke. Now, the bang. That basketball ace Mitchell with the titty in it. Yeah, bitch, after this round, your bounce will never be the same. Your crew act up. Go, nigga. I understand. There is damage control going on. I can, I, I get it. You know, you have somebody who's quote unquote one of your stars. He's been consistently inconsistent. So you know, they, they gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta try to make it up. You gotta, you know, Maybelline, make it up, make it up. They gotta make up. Some, you know, people have their own narratives and things that they push. But a lot of people, most people, have Swamp winning this battle two one, if not three zero. This is a battle that you called for and lost. That's just the way it's called. When it drops, people are gonna see it. The folks who didn't see it on the caffeine stream um, choked in two rounds. You choked in the first round, you choked in the third round. There's really nothing more to debate here. I think this is a clear, straight across the board issue. I think more attention should be given to Swamp after this though. He should be the one whose name is being bigged up he should be the one who's being put on bigger cards. And the reason for this blog is about T-Top and Tay Rock. I'm going to speak on each one, both of them, and the reason why you guys should be having him in your crosshairs trying to get him out of here. A-S-A-P. First of all, he won. There ain't nothing to that. They dropped Chilla Jones and Geechee today. Some are going to say it's damage control. I started watching it, but I said, you know what? Uh-uh. This got to drop first. I'm dropping this. So I, I, I this is going to come out. Then I'll go back and watch that. And we'll recap it, etc., etc. Don't let nothing get too far ahead of you. But this right here, oh no, this got to come out first. Fuck that. That's how we're giving it up. So, um, Swamp, who um, obviously just had the battle, um, a lot of people had a lot of reactions to it. And, um, you know, Swamp posted a meme. And I think that this is what he should be doing. When you do something like that, don't go back in the corner. No, 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 no. Keep on going. Just go. Keep on talk your shit. Stay on your keep your keep keep your foot on the gas and and don't even let up. Do not let up on these niggas. Not one of them. I love the fact that he's not joining no crew. That he's not trying to be part of no none of that except for we for South Carolina. Some the Kid Chaos, uh, DJ the Piranha. They they um you know what I'm saying are nice MCs. Y'all y'all ever heard of this dude named Kid Chaos? You know what I'm saying he he's from South South. Y'all y'all never heard of him? Okay, I never heard of him. I have Default, DJ the Piranha. He's nice too. They got a lot of other niggas down there that got bars, but that ooh, ooh, we will get into what we get into. Um, so. He's basically going right back on the offensive as he should. Don't take no, don't take no days off on these niggas. Not one of them. Fuck every one of them, and I love it. Uh, he said in this meme, "We will get revenge for you, R.I.P." And it's a casket with the word Jersey written on the side of it, and T-Top and Tay Rock in a picture looking over this casket. 
I totally uh, agree with his sentiments and what he's doing and his promotion. And a lot of other memes have been going out. Uh, there was a meme of like uh, twerk drowning in the swamp, reaching for like a cell phone. There's a lot of people going in. And when you, um, when you talk the way you talk, like you going, you going to smoke a nigga, you going to make an example out of a nigga, and it doesn't happen. You have to be prepared for what comes along with it. And I know a lot of the times he'll block his fans or he'll talk negative about the media or about people, about me or whatever the case may be, but we don't battle rap. So we just sit back and say, you know what? These stories will make themselves. A lot of like a lot of the time I find that battle rappers get upset about recaps and um, you know, oh they don't know what the fuck they talking about, oh fuck they recaps and you they say everything that you can think of. They call us everything but a child of God. But the one simple answer, what is the simple answer? Can you give us the simple answer to not receive? Hold on, it's there. You want to know how you don't get this? You want to know how you don't get this? How? Win your fucking battles. Show up with rounds. Somebody told me the other day, don't throw it on the ground because, you know, we need this one to stay around. Win your battles. Do your job. You do your job and this won't happen. It won't happen. If you win, you won't happen. I smoked Danny Myers one time. He's the reason why. Y'all want to know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. He got smoked. He's the reason why. Since then, he has been on his game. The media, the independent ones, they hold the battlers accountable. They're the ones who's going to call it out. They're the ones. They're not the ones. They're not seeking interviews. They're not ones want to be buddy buddy. They're not. The, they ain't doing none of that. They're going to call it like it is. And these are the same conversations that's happening everywhere on Twitter, on the social media groups, in the barbershops. This is the same thing. When we see people in the street, this is what they say. They say, yo, so-and-so's not doing good. Oh, man, fuck that. Oh, this shit is crazy. This is what they're saying. Just because you don't want to hear it doesn't mean it's not going to be said. So, um, let's think of some greats. Who is the greatest of battle rappers? Uh, you know, you got the Luxes. You got the Mooks. You got uh, some people will say, you know, Ars is up there. Uh, Diz. Uh, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of people, right? Do you think for a second that these motherfuckers prepare? You think Loaded Lux is going to be writing for uh, Sue Surf the week of, the day of, on the way to the venue, the night before? Are you crazy? That you're I said it in tweets. You're never going to win on this level if you're not prepared. You're, not, you're just not going to win. You might be talented, you know what I'm saying? But hard work is going to beat talent when talent doesn't work hard. I don't give a fuck who you are. Talent is good. But hard work and being prepared and being ready is going to win out every fucking time. It's going to win. The, the hard work. People are, these like hollow and, and you seen hollow and um fucking looks. They up in the mountains going over their material and they, and they doing like 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 all of this shit to memorize their material. I speak to MCs, they say they, they'll write all of their material out and they'll put it on the wall and they'll rip the page in half and put half the page on the wall to try to remember the other half of the page or wrap the top. Like, niggas have all kind of ways that they go about remembering their material. That's the baseline of battle rap. Like, not choking, not 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 stumbling over your material. There's no rounds you're gonna win. I don't care who it is. If you choke, if you choke or you stumble, you lost a round. Like it is what it is. If you if two people have clean rounds and one person stumbles and chokes, it is what it is. The the, the nigga who choked lost a round. That's just the way it's gonna go. And when you coming into these battles half-assing, not prepared, and all this other shit, you're not gonna win. Like. I don't have any personal issues, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a personal problem with twerk. But the fact that he don't be prepared, it's, it's, a, it's a battle rap problem. You're not prepared to do what you need to do. I would love to be on here like, see, y'all said he was going to lose, but he showed up for this one. He said he wasn't going to play with Swamp, and he didn't play with him. But it's like every time they putting him in a position with these joints, he's dropping the ball. Geechee, 30. Swamp, 2-1, 30. Shine on the quarantine, beat him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking official, beat him. Like, it's like, I can go battle for battle for battle for battle. Lost, 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 all the way through. And it's like, after a while, the money started looking funny in the light. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
We're now back to Swamp. You know, that's enough of that. Uh, I just feel like he should be promoted more. He should be talked about more. His win should be celebrated more. He should be the one getting the accolades. Uh, I like him versus T-Top, but I think it should be more on Summer Madness than, than rookies versus Vets. He's, I think he's earning that. He's earning that because when John John Adon was on his come up, he battled Hitman on the big card, big stage. He earned that big name. Swamp is earning that big name. And he hasn't lost on URL yet. He hasn't lost a battle yet. And arguably, he's not even losing rounds. There are people who's going to argue that he got a 3-0 over Twerk. 3-0. I can go 2-1, but regardless of the fact, I got a clear win. Tay Rock, you're gonna, one of you or T-Top is gonna have to go find that man. And don't come back until you find that man. Y'all are gonna, but the thing is, y'all will be prepared. You and, and, and um, T-Top, y'all be, be prepared. Y'all bring three rounds. So for Swamp, it ain't gonna be the walk in the park like this one was. Anybody who really, really knows, when you think about the intricate process of battle rap, twerk, has the more explosive performance. He's able to think of like crazy things, like, you know, grab you by your man collar, you lost your marbles, that was a crazy line. Uh, triple dog dare you to Cerberus, you know what I'm saying? That was a crazy line. Uh, he said another one, um, uh, have you staring in the cannon, look Marlon, say cheese. He has explosive moments, you know what I'm saying? And this is like me, he has explosive moments. But the overall package is so all over the place that the explosive moments, they, they negate themselves because you're not putting forth the effort. Practice, you wanna talk about, not a game. Y'all talk about practice, like practice. But the thing is about battle rap, it's not basketball. It's a sport that is a lot, maybe 70, 70, 80% is all mental. 70, 80%, 10% performance. You know what I'm saying? And then there's another, there's other intangibles. But for the most part, it's all in the mind. I've seen people say that they heard all three rounds before the battle and he knew them. I think Loso said that. But guess what? If your mind is not trained to go into different zones and be ready, and this is not even that, we don't even battle rap. I'm not a battle rapper. But I know for a fact, any one thing happened could throw you off and if you forget, that's it. He's looking in his phone for rounds that he said he didn't even write. He says he don't even write, but he's looking in his phone for rounds that he ain't even got. You look in your phone, you automatically lose the round. That's the way battle rap works. When these niggas was battling in Black Star, do you think a nigga could look in their phone? When niggas was battling outside in Harlem, Party Artie versus Murder Mook, you think a nigga could look in their phone? Huh? 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 You think a nigga could look? Get the fuck out. That shit was never happening. But, uh, yeah, um, Swamp. Keep your foot on the gas. Do not let up on these niggas. Not a one of them. Not one. Don't let up. You are with everything that's, that's right in battle rap as far as a new talent. You are doing it. The same model that Geechee Gotti followed is the same model that you should follow. Be an ambassador of battle rap. Show up to battle. This nigga had a battle the day he got no show. The last, let's call it what it is. He got no show. He had a battle the same fucking day, went and did the battle and had bars for that nigga too. You are an ambassador of everything that's right in battle rap. Continue to keep that energy, continue to put on for South Carolina, and continue to be like, fuck all these niggas. You ain't here to be friends, you ain't here to be buddy buddy, none of that shit. And they're gonna continue to hate it, but as long as you bring in performances like you did, now the third round versus twerk, I'm gonna be honest, it was just okay. First round was gas. Second round was more gas. Not gas like the other side, like how he had a whole section of niggas that was there ready to cheer for every ball. I'm saying gas is inflammable. That shit was hot. First round was hot. Second round was crazy. Ran up on my grandmama with the big 40. I said, let her go. He too big for you. He thought he was going to get away without a witness. Made it around the corner and the six. So, nigga, that shit was I didn't watch it a couple times, I ain't gonna lie, cause I wasn't gonna wait. I was not gonna wait for these niggas to play with this battle and drop this shit in November. No, sorry, I, 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 I'm, I'm watching it, sorry. It is what it is. They got apps for that. People be like, oh, how'd you see that? They got apps for that. They got fucking apps for that. But uh, salute to Swamp, continue what you're doing. You already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. South Carolina, nigga.
Don't let these hoes turn you to frowns, bitch, we been up All these guns coming out, get your man up I know these hoes got you down,